Nicole Shazinga is here in the country. She has been a busy, busy bee, Jackie. I you know. think you've been tired filming uh, The Masked Singer? Take a moment to be Nicole Shazinga. She's here filming Australia's Got Talent, then on a plane back to America filming the American version of The Masked Singer. I didn't realise you were filming The Masked Singer at yeah. the same time. Oh, she's busy. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, yeah. How are Sorry. You? We tend to do that. Yeah. We just dive straight we'll just in. Start chatting. Hi. Um, yeah, you're doing, you're doing that as well. Yeah, I'm doing it at the exact same time. So I'm literally, I've, I've taken about seven 15 hour flights oh. in the past, like, Ten days. Oh my <laughs> and, god! And you That's could. Crazy. A lot of people would say just sleep, but it's not like that. There's the jet lag. There's the dehydration. There's all that crazy stuff that goes on with the multiple flying. Yeah, I try not to complain about it. It's more a frame of mind. I, I, it's I, I actually don't sleep very well, but I sleep pretty good on planes. Yeah, so I just really? work it out, and I've managed to. Every time I get off a flight, I go straight to a workout and then set. Oh, oh my God. that's you, no incredible! Wonder you're tired. <laughs> wow. I know it's yeah, hard to tell by looking at us. We haven't done a workout for quite yeah, some time. The workout part, no, I can't <laughs> understand that. And what, did, are you recording an album in the middle of this just to keep yourself busy or anything like that? I'm always doing music. Yeah, yes. I know you're non-stop with that. <laughs> Any right? time off, I'm um, I'm either writing or in the studio. Wow, that's a lot of work. And, and here we bitch and complain about nothing. I know. Well, I, I thought my schedule was hectic, but yeah, yours is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. And how did you go with the Masked Singer round two? Because um, the winner last year was T-Pain, and I don't think anyone guessed him, right? No one guessed him. We had no idea um and we thought that was super cool we we're like oh we're yeah, so we're that much cooler we got yeah. street cred yeah. now that t bane uh, won um yeah we just uh season two is amazing it's even you know the first season people didn't really know what was going on sure. it was this crazy phenomenon in asia but people are like what but now after we've got been like rated the the highest rated show in seven years isn't that incredible know, well done insane. by the way bigger and better so it's been really Really fun. Do you know why that works? I think it's because you get crazy. Kids can look at it as well as parents. Yeah. Like people that love singing, people who love any sort of contest with talent, and the just the visual of it is is something we haven't seen. And before. the guessing is the fun the part. Guessing. Yeah. yeah. What but, about Australia's Got Talent? You've uh, I've seen you on there. Yeah, being you're loving shocked, that. Terrified, joyful, fearful, <laughs> every emotion all you can have. All the emotions have. You've and had all. Them all. The faces to show those emotions. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. I love Australia. I've spent a lot of time here touring with the dolls and some of my solo stuff. Yeah. And um, I, I, I was so over the moon when they asked me to be here, and I'm really blown away by the, the talent here. There's a lot of yeah, talent here. Yeah, there's a lot of talent. It's fun doing that show, I'd imagine, because Carl's done the same show. I hoard myself around them all. Idol, Australia's Got <laughs> It talent, sounds like X we do Factor. all of them, doesn't it? I'm sick of it. Sick of it. And no, but then I did get jealous when I saw you on it. I thought, oh, I should have got, I should have taken the chef's job. Manu, you know, Manu's lovely. But God knows, no one understands what Manu's saying. <laughs> you know, what's him? What's that? What's that? They like, just lovely, love. Though. They love him here. I though. know. Yeah, he's very I popular. Know. He is. Yeah. <laughs> and the other bloke that uh, I think, Shane. yeah, he took. I think he took my spot. The fat one with the beard. <laughs> Uh, he's doing Shane. a great job as well. He is doing a brilliant job. I love, I love the judges. I, it was my first time meeting all of them and Ricky Lee. Yeah, so, she's great. Yeah, she's got a voice in the heart. I Ricky like, Lee. Yeah, she does. I feel like Australians just are in general are amazing humans. We are. We and are. The You're best right. accents. Yeah, that's true. Can you do the Aussie accent? I mean, if, have you tried? If somebody says something, I wish that I could. Cause yeah, it, it, I just get so tickled by it. I'm like a big, massive fan of Chris <laughs> Lilly. So, oh, oh yeah. how good is this bloke? He's excellent, right? <laughs> um, so, uh, it's back on TV Sunday night, seven o'clock, Channel Seven. Where are we up to? Uh, does anyone know we're up to with uh, AGT? Are we we're at the finale. We're at the we're at the end, right? It's coming up. Well, we're. I think you know we're pre-shooting, so we have our grand finale. Left. Right. Okay. Um, so you're right at the end of, of the sh filming schedule. Then what are you going to do? You're going to go home. You're going to keep filming shows. Keep doing what you do. Yeah, I'm doing. Um, I'm juggling three shows right now: Masked Singer, this yeah. show, and then The X Factor in Where's the UK. The, oh my God, are you crazy? <laughs> wow. Well, that we started on that. Have you got a lover in every port? <laughs> Why have you done this to yourself? You're really pushing yourself to the limit. And then, and then music. I kind of. I just. I. I, I like to work. You like to work. <laughs> I like to stay busy. No, I think that's great, but gee, that's going to, oh, I couldn't do it. You're better than all of It'll us. It'll be okay. I, I don't start the UK until, I don't move there till October. Okay, so do just in time for it to start getting cold. 
Yeah, I know. Oh, right? Jesus. Yeah. That's the worst weather. Not the greatest that time. time. Plus, you're coming in and in out of our winter into America's blistering summer. And then you're going to go to London for some more cold weather. Yeah, but this is so nice. Your winter is still beautiful. It's it is, lovely. isn't it? We still get good days, I've got to say. Like Gosh. 25 degrees, I think. It's, it's, have you been out in a boat? Have you anything, you've had any fun? You I wish. Today? Okay. I've not. I've been so busy working. I mean, we have quite busy schedules. I literally sure. land. I do the workout. We do interviews, press, the show yeah. till really late. And then back to bed for three hours, then up again doing it <laughs> exactly. all again. Exactly. Yeah. But I'd love to explore... Um, Australia more. I, I got to do, I had like one day off and I, I saw Hugh Jackman's show. Oh, God. <laughs> How was that? That was super cool. Everyone and then says I, it's great. I did, um, I saw Bondi for a second and then I played for pool. For a second? Oh, played pool? <laughs> Where? Some place. Um, Some little pub? Yeah. Did was, you get anyone, did you lose money or did you didn't bet? No, I wouldn't bet. I'm not that good. You're right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm she terrible at pool. Yeah, oh, sorry. Well, yeah. I thought I'd throw that it was just no one cares <laughs> how good you are. I wanted to do something different. I just wanted to do something like well, yeah, yeah, normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a normal life, or is it hard? It'd be hard for you. Where do you go in the in the whole world where you could just cruise like a normal chick without people knowing who you are? Pretty much nowhere. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah, be, it is. Um, Hawaii. On my side of the island is, is what pretty did you call it? Local girl, Hawaii. <laughs> is that how you say Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, we go. We, we go to Hawaii, mate. We yeah, go to Hawaii. 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 Yeah, Hawaii, mate. I love it. Which Hawaii. island are you from? I'm Oahu. Oahu. I mean, still some people they do know back home, obviously, but it's like but local they girls. Bother. You just, it's so good to you can be just be chill, just be wearing yeah. like surf yeah. shorts and a bathing suit. I don't know where I went. I've only been to Hawaii once, but loved it. Went to the to the where the cool kids hang out, the surf side where all the houses oh, are yeah, run North down. Oh yeah, North Shore. Yeah. Haliva. Eating some bloody weird food out of a van. Mm. Yeah. Smoking a joint on the beach. Mm. Loving life. Oh, I didn't know it was legal. I don't think it's legal over oh, there. Oh, we don't care about legal oh, schmeagle, okay. Jackie. We do what we want. <laughs> we don't worry about it. We're not a rule law follower like you. <laughs> Jackie's a big <laughs> law follower. She follows the law. Hey, listen, Nicole, stick around because we're going to play a little game with you called Celebrity Head Job. So sticky. Look at her eyes light up. <laughs> oh, geez. Yes, it is what you think. It, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not, not at either. all. Yes, Nicole Shazing is here. She is on Australia's Got Talent back on TV Sunday night, 7 o'clock on Channel 7, doing real well. She's very busy and she just told us how much she loves that Guy Sebastian song. Yeah, Guy, I, I run singer. on it on the treadmill. Oh, I, really? I added it to my playlist because I don't think we have it in the States. Oh, he'll be no. thrilled. I love that song. He's one of our, well, he, I think he's our greatest singer for, yeah, without a amazing. doubt. amazing. Just a great message. You should do something yeah. with him. Yeah, we'll I'd hook love it up. to. Well, now, he's very Jesus friendly. He's married, got kids. He's a lovely kid. Lovely bloke. Oh, I'm very Jesus friendly as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all Jesus friendly around here. Nicole, you're going to be playing a little game we like to call Celebrity Head Job. And what have you done any of this stuff before? Any never. Year? Never. No, okay. Can't oh, say. Gee. Oh, gee, that you're I very have. different to Jackie. Have you got the list over there, Kyle? <laughs> yes, I've okay, got a list. Okay, so Kyle will be leading this one. We're going to show you three pictures oh. of different Australian celebrities, and you have to guess which one matches the story. Okay. Wait, are these guys real? Yeah, they're yeah, real. Yeah, they're yeah, real they're Australian. Australian real Australian celebrities. celebrities. So first of all, we have Nick Cummings. We call him the Honey Badger. That's Is the that guy hair with, with today? the hair. A lot of yep. That's a lot yep. of that hair. Yep. It's, it's a new photo. It's, yep. Then in the he middle, looks like Woody Harrelson. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Doesn't a little, it? right? He yeah. was. And then we have Daniel Johns, who's our middle celebrity. Oh, then at the end, we have Shane Warne. Get it, Shane. Get it, Shane. Now I'm going to ask a question. You tell me which of these celebrities uh, fits this question. Which Aussie star? was seen walking out of a brothel this week. <gasps> Having was it, spent almost a week yeah, there. Yeah, a week in the brothel. Was it wow. number one, Nick Cummings, the honey badger? Number two, Daniel Johns? Or number three, Shane Warne? Who looks like he's getting down and busy with the hose? Shane. Shane? You didn't even think about it. No, look at <laughs> <You> him. Looked at <laughs> Just loving it. Loving the brothel. <laughs> get it. That's what I mean, Before you even said it, I said, get it, Shane. Get it. That's I know. Okay. <laughs> now, just let me tell you, Shane does get it. And gets a lot of it. But the man that's actually seen walking out of the brothel this week Nick. was... No, not Nick. Good old Daniel Johns, the middle man, the silver really? chair front man. I know, can you believe it? I wouldn't have expected that. No. What's Daniel do? He looks like he's in a rock band. Yeah, yes. silver chair He was man. in silver chair, yeah. an Australian band. Does yeah. his own music now. Yeah, he's a great guy though, but... 
obviously spent a fortune. You don't think he'd have to go to a brothel? No. No, he wouldn't, actually. He could easily. Uh, is this real? Yeah. Do you guys have brothels here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. What, what yeah. time is it? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the brothels are open early. Okay, the next three celebrities up on the screen for Nicole Scherzinger. Okay. Uh, she's on AGT, Sunday Shane, night. Shane will never speak to me. No, Shane's fine. <laughs> it doesn't, that doesn't, uh, that, that's probably nah, a good thing. No, he wouldn't team. mind. Okay, now, which Australian personality is known for wearing nothing but a bed sheet in public? Photographed regularly wearing only a bed sheet. Is it celebrity number one, Zipporah Malik? God. Is it celebrity number two, Carl Stefanovic? Or celebrity number three, Lynn McGranger? These are celebrities here. Yeah. Yeah. I know they look very disheveled, <laughs> but they are indeed celebrities. And they're known for just wearing a bed sheet? Just, yeah, being photographed yeah. regularly just in a bed sheet. They might go down to, like, you know, a shop and just wear just a bed sheet. Just wrapped in a bed sheet, nude underneath, mind you. Nude, mm. but just the bed sheet on. Sephora. You're going to get Sephora? You're going Sephora? Sephora yeah. is correct. Correct. That is Sephora. Why Usually did you pick Sephora? She looks like she could be wearing a bed sheet right now. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Even in that picture. She just looks like carefree. Yes, yeah, like, she is. Yeah, let's she do is. it. Let's, let's wear yeah. that bed sheet. She's yeah. a carefree type of gal. I'd, I'd wear it with her. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is a terrible rumor about an Australian celebrity this week. Which Aussie actor was rumored to have bad breath? Is it <laughs> celebrity number one? Ray Ma. Is it celebrity number two, Russell Crowe? Or celebrity number three, Koshi? Who, look, you have a sniff there? Who do you think's got the bog breath? I don't know. Rumored to have who bog Ray breath. Ma, Ma is. Mm-hmm. We call him Alf here. Um, so I'm going to go. Why not go with Russell Crowe? You're going to go with Russell Crowe. Do we, do we want Russell Crowe to have bad breath? I don't want him to have bad no. breath, no. but but it's a rumor. It's a rumor. I've never smelled it. I've smelled all of these people's breath. Never once have I smelled it on the bad side. Of have things. you oh. locked in Russell? I'm just going to say Russell. She's, Nicole's locking in Russell. Correct. Correct. Nice work. Oh, Excellent work. And can I say that yeah. rumour is incorrect. No, Russell yeah. even himself said that that whole story yeah. was BS. He said that's bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit does smell, yeah. but not from Russell's <laughs> not breath. Not Russell. All right, next one. <laughs> next three so celebrities. Bad. I'd be like walking around with like, <laughs> blistering all the time. <laughs> Which Australian politician violently shat his pants at the Ingadine McDonald's? Oh, God. They're all politicians. Rumoured, rumoured again. Real? Yeah, it's re- yeah, it's it's real. But What's many Ingadine. Ingadine uh, is a, a suburb. suburb, suburb of McDonald's. Okay. Uh, down, they ran into the McDonald's shop, having violently shat his pants. Well, is why? it celebrity one, former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd? Mm. Is it celebrity number two? Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott mm. or celebrity number three, current Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Oh my gosh, it was a Prime Minister. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> God bless. This is Australia, Nicole. This happens. We've all been there. We've oh, all We've be- all been there, guys. Yeah, we've all sharted, but this was a violent <laughs> shart. In McDonald's. In public, and you are a prime minister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that really sucks. Yeah, it's no good. Especially for the young 15-year-old kid mopping up in the toilet. <laughs> I'm just going to go off of the picture. Mm-hmm. That's all you've got. looks like he could be <laughs> in some discomfort. <laughs> right now. I'm going to go off of Scott. He looks in Scott some Scott Morrison, current prime minister. Is correct. Oh my nice. God. You're very good at this, Nicole. <laughs> You're very good. She is killing it. This, this is, is why she's doing all the yeah. shows. Yeah. She Hilarious. knows. She knows. She's used to she guessing these things. Okay. Yes. Jackie, yeah. would you like guessing. to would you like to host the uh, next one? Oh, okay. He's three giving me the pretty shape. Female oh, celebrity. don't make me say this one. Okay. I'm handing okay. it back. Okay. No. I'll, okay, I'll do it. Uh oh. There's three beautiful girls up on the screen now, Nicole. Keep an eye on them all and listen to this question. Which Australian bachelorette was caught getting eaten out on the staircase? Oh, oh my God. How does that even... How do, do people get caught? Well, well, because they're on a staircase rather than in the, the bedroom or in somewhere less... A staircase what? In public? Outside? <laughs> at, a par- at a house party. Wow. At a house party, I know, I know, and it was, and her boyfriend caught her being eaten out. No way, yes, I yes. don't believe. Yeah, yeah. Oh else. yes, it's yeah. a terrible story. 
But it's a story nonetheless. Is it? Which little? Is it Bachelorette is it? number one, Sophie Monk? Is it celebrity number two, Georgie Gardner? Or celebrity number three, Ali Odichin? Which one do you think's got it in her? Ali. You think Ali's the one? Correct again! Unbelievably How did she brilliant. Gets that? Just look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking for it. See those. Undercover. Just look oh. at her. Yeah. She's got angel She's eyes like, though. Oh. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I me. just bat my yeah, little yeah. lashes. <laughs> <laughs> just little smile. You have nailed it. Am I is that, is that was a true story? That's a was true, true story. Oh, oh my god. god. Yes, it was. Her, she did Ali. actually talk about yeah. it, so yeah. she addressed it. Yeah. Anyway, it was a mistake. She was at her boyfriend's place and they'd been on The Bachelor together. And then, anyway, one thing led to another. A few people at a house party in Hollywood, you know what it's like. Undies get pulled no. to the side. It all happens. No, I don't. I don't know that, actually. You don't know that. Never, never seen that. Never <laughs> no. had that happen. But I knew. I was like, there she is, Allie. Mm-hmm. You knew hey. straight away. Just. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's really scary. You wonder not why Nicole Scherzinger is so talented and talented at picking other people's talents. That's yep. why. She's on yep. the show. Yep. <laughs> AGT back on TV Sunday night, channel 7, 7 o'clock. I just looked over and all the guys are like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all gay What's too. What's going on Which here? is weird as. <laughs> they love it. Oh, <laughs> Nicole, thanks, nice Nicole. to see you, hon. Great to have you in the studio. I'll hook you up with Guy. Good luck on that. Some really valuable time I had here. Thanks so <laughs> much. I'm sure you. Australia's learned a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> we know you. You're amazing. <laughs>